Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the press conference for the fight that I believe will be the fight of the year between WBO welterweight champion Timothy Bradley and the challenger Brandon Bam Bam Rios. We're grateful and thank uh, Win Las Vegas for hosting this event and for allowing us to have the press conference here in this magnificent room. Now, for those of you sitting at tables here, enjoy them, because tonight you can come back and sit at those tables, except it'll cost you $10,000, but you'll get a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I want to thank HBO for televising uh, this fight and the great featherweight championship match on the card that we'll be talking about. Uh, and I'd like to introduce welcoming, uh, uh, representing HBO, please welcome Tony Walker. Thanks a lot, Bob. And on behalf of the entire HBO staff, I'd like to thank all of you for coming today. And Thank our friends at the uh, WIN for giving us such plush surroundings to have this press conference. We're uh, very confident that Saturday's fight is going to be very pleasing to our boxing fans and HBO subscribers because all you have to do is ask yourself, have Timothy Bradley and Brandon Rios ever been in a boring fight, especially on HBO? They've both already been in fights of the year, and they both bring that style, the anticipation, the drama into the ring that we've come to expect from the top flight prize fighters. So we accept a great match. The uh, TV telecast starts at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific time. Uh, our announcing crew, Jim Lampley, Harold Letterman, Max Kellerman, Roy Jones will be ringside. And we promise a great telecast and look forward to these uh, members of the HBO boxing family to give a great show. Thank you. I want to thank uh, Takate our sponsor. Uh, I want to thank them for all the help they've been throughout the year uh, sponsoring our events, uh, the Unimas shows, uh, the big pay-per-view shows, the HBO shows. Uh, they've been a real great partner and uh, I am so happy uh, that Takati has had such a great, great success in the United States with its beer, uh, regular Takati and Takati Light. Uh, it's been a real success story for them, and uh, it's truly a great product. We have here representing Win Las Vegas, the director of the Win Race and Sports Book. He's a good friend of ours, and one of the delights in coming back here to Win where they sponsor an event is that we get to hear from him. Please welcome Johnny Avello. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Steve Wynn, our chairman and CEO, Matt Maddox, our president of Wynn Limited Resorts and uh, Maurice Wooden, our president of the Wynn Hotel, I want to welcome you all here today. Uh, we are not a stranger in uh, hosting fights, but we do the one maybe every two years. Uh, the reason is we put full effort in when we do them, and uh, I think we do as good a job as anyone in this town. Uh, reason for that is we have a great uh, special event staff run by Nicole Perry, and uh, with that type of staff, you can put on a quality event. Uh, I have some odds on the fight. This fight has been up over a month. Uh, the odds on the fight have changed quite a bit. I'm sure they're going to change again as we get closer to uh, fight time. I opened up uh, Tim Braley, 360 favorite. And for you that aren't uh, knowledgeable on betting, 360 is put up $360 to win 100 and the underdog is three to one, where you bet 100 and win three. Uh, that fight has risen now to five to one. Tim Braley is now a five to one favorite. 
and the underdog is four to one. So that's some motivation for you, Brandon, isn't it? That's what coaches usually do to their teams. They, they tell them what the odds are. Uh, on the round side, we have put up a rounds prop. Will the fight go 12 full rounds? Uh, the favorite is that it will go. It's 280, which is 280 to win 100, which is almost a 3 to 1 that it will go. Uh, then we have uh, some other bets, and we put out some sheets for you guys to grab on your way out. We, I call this a five-pack where you can bet Rios by decision, Rios by knockout, Braley by decision, Braley by knockout, or a draw. And the... Uh, the, and lastly, we've put up, will either fight or knock out the other in a particular round? You get some pretty lucrative odds there, ranging from anywhere from 50 to 1 down to 15. So we'll take a look at the sheets, guys, before you leave. Uh, it's good seeing you all, and uh, we hope to see you at our betting windows in the Race and Sports Book. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. What's the Giants' odds? What are, what are the odds? Uh, 35 to 1. <laughs> 35 to 1. That's a good bet. There's no way out. Like Johnny says, the Giants always do good at the end. Two times they won the Super Bowl. We are happy on this card to be able to showcase fighters from all over the world. We have fighters from America, of course, and Ukraine, uh, Mexico, Japan, Colombia, Lithuania, from all over the world. And that's great because boxing is a worldwide sport. And uh, the undercard matches, the ones that won't be on television, are terrific. And I really urge... Uh, you to let your readers and listeners know, viewers, uh, that they should get to this event early to see all the great international talent. Now, one of the young men fighting on the card is an Olympic gold medalist. Uh, he's from the country of Japan, and he is was the first Japanese in more than 40 years to win a gold medal in boxing at the Olympics. He defeated the silver medalist who's been living here in Las Vegas, Esquiva Falco from Brazil, uh, in a terrific uh, fight in the finals in the Olympics in London. He is really the pride of Japan. Uh, he is by far the most popular fighter in Japan. And as he comes up and talks to you, you'll appreciate why in Japan he's considered a rock star, which Tim, Tim called him. So please welcome from Japan the Olympic uh, middleweight gold medalist, Ryo Murata. Hi, good afternoon. So first, I want to say I want to thank Mr. Aram and Mr. Honda. Gunnar Jackson is a very tough fighter. I'm very expecting tough fight. So I promise I do my best. I shall good fight. Thank you. Hey, well done. I see all these young men make an effort to learn English and talk to you. Uh, I wish that some of our American kids who go over to fight abroad made a similar effort to speak in the native language. Those Americans who are going to Russia or Ukraine uh, to fight probably can take lessons from the Russian citizen, Roy Jones, who I think knows how to speak a little Russian. Now it's a pleasure for me uh, to uh, introduce to you uh, to Tico Zabala, a great friend of ours, who will introduce Romulo Coasica uh, of Mexico, 
with a record of 25 wins and four defeats, who will be challenging uh, Vasil Lomachenko for the WBO Featherweight Championship. Tatiko. Uh, thank you, Bob. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, very happy to be here again. Thanks to HBO, the top rank family, Tecate, the wing. Uh, we're here to give a great fight. We will, let, we will not let anybody down. Romulo is a great fighter, and you get to see him Saturday night. And also, thank you to Mr. Onda for the taking family to be here on this card. It's also a very special moment for us. And by the way, uh, Romulo Koasicha, great grandfather, is from Japan. So maybe you guys didn't know that. I now introduce to you uh, Romulo Kasicha. In English? <laughs> well, I speak a little English. Uh, my name is Romulo Kasicha. Uh, Jose Tutico, my grandfather was Japanese. Well, I am very happy to stay here. And this is my first fight for, for World Championships. And I, I, many people don't know me, but I only say that I'm going to, to do great gun fight. Lomachenko is a great fighter, and two I great gun fighter. Many people don't know me, but this Saturday, going to see who, I, who is Romulo Coasicha. I guess we don't need any translation. <laughs> he said it all. Vasil Lomachenko was an amateur who conquered everybody in his career. He won two world championships and two Olympic gold medal, one in Beijing and the other in the recent Olympiad in London. As a professional, he wasted no time uh, he fought for a world championship in his second professional fight. It was a little too early, perhaps, but by the time he got to his third professional fight, he took on Gary Russell for the WBO featherweight championship and won convincingly. Those of you who follow boxing and have watched him realize that he is one of the greatest fighters in the world. So it's a pleasure now to bring up his manager, Igus Klimas, and the great uh, fighter, and he really is one of the great ones go down in history, uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko. Hello, everybody. It's a very big pleasure for me to represent one of the greatest fighters in the world as a professional, Vasily Lomachenko, who became, in a third bout, uh, world champion. As from all the team of Lomachenko, I would like to thank Top Rank Promotions, who did a very, very good job. Uh, Bob Aram did more than he said he's going to do. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very pleasure for me as well to work uh, to represent the team of Lomachenko. I would like to thank Top Rank, would like to thank a win, a Hotel Thomas and Max Center, all the sponsors. And at this time, I would like to uh, uh, announce uh, Vasily Lomachenko, champion of the WBO Featherweight. Hi, everybody. Now I speak uh, in Russian. Next time, I promised I must speak English, and Aegis translate for us. Хотел бы сказать огромное спасибо всей своей команде. Они приложили максимум усилий для того, чтобы в субботу я продемонстрировал свой лучший бокс. И я надеюсь, мой противник подготовился хорошо, для, потому что он делает громкие заявления о том, что в субботу все узнают, кто он такой. Ну, посмотрим, подождем субботы. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of my team who helped me to prepare for this bout. Uh, I hope my opponent prepared for this bout real good because he just announced he is uh, he's prepared and uh, he wants to show to all the world 
who he is. So we will see you on Saturday night. Now let's hear from the trainers because the trainers in the main event, uh, Brandon's trainer, Tim's trainer, have been uh, very vocal in talking about the match. And I know that what they say will be very valuable to you uh, in uh, doing your stories. So first, uh, let's uh, hear from the trainer of Bam Bam Rios, a man who needs no introduction, Robert Garcia. Good afternoon to everybody. I just want to thank you all for showing up, uh, supporting this fight. We want to thank our team. Everybody did their, their job. Chef Chan, Daryl, our sparring partners. We had a great training camp. Uh, we're just ready. We're ready for a great fight. Brandon followed instructions, did everything he was supposed to do, and uh, Saturday night he'll show the world what, uh, what we're talking about. Thank you, guys. Tim's trainer also needs no introduction. You followed him for a number of years as the expert analyst for ESPN Boxing. Uh, and he figured he'd take a break from talking and train one of the great fighters of our time, Tim Bradley. However, he's learned that in this business, you still got to talk, and he knows how to talk. So please welcome Teddy Atlas. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. You know, you don't get to this level, all the fighters up here, unless you have special skill sets. And obviously they're all unique to the individual fighters. Sometimes you have speed, sometimes you have, you know, cleverness, uh, slickness, all different skill sets. We prepared for a very special fighter in Brandon Rios. Uh, we understand what his skill sets are. Uh, they're to come and to come and to come until he gets the person in front of him to give in a little bit, to cooperate and be in position where he can then do what he obviously always prepares to do when he gets in that ring. He's a guy that starts coming forward during the national anthem. And that's the tough news. The good news, we prepared for that fighter. We prepared for the last seven weeks for that fighter and for every bit of that fighter. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and technically what we have to do. I am sure that Tim will show that on Saturday night, and I'll finish by saying that the odds makers, I know this is Las Vegas, I know it's the capital of obviously gambling, but we did not, I think they got the odds wrong, we did not prepare for a five to one underdog. We prepared for a guy that's even money, but we are as prepared as possible and we'll show it on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. You know, as a promoter, you put fighters in fights and you hope they do well. But more importantly, you hope that they give a crowd-pleasing performance. You hope that they fight like true warriors to make you proud as part of the promotion and to satisfy the public and to help the sport of boxing. Now, Brandon Bam Bam Rios has always given everything in the ring. He is 
a true, true warrior. I followed and promoted so many fights for him over the years, and I've never seen him give anything but the best. He leaves the fight in the ring. He gives everything that he has to win the fight and give a great performance. So I'm really proud of him. Please welcome Brandon Bam Bam Rios. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's good, doing great. Uh, I'm just ready for this fight. You know, it's about time I get back in the ring, and I've just I've been ready for a fight. So, I know Timothy Brady. People are saying, "Oh, Brandon is he? Oh, uh, Timothy Brady's punch drunk. Timothy Brady's no punch good. All this stuff that don't mean stuff to me. I'm training for the best Timothy Brady out there. I know, I know he's gonna come out well prepared. He's always in shape." And I know he's going to give it his all as well as I will. So anybody can talk. You know, that's just media talking. But the odds and all this stuff, that don't bother me. It's not in my mind. All that's in my mind is going out there, giving a great performance, do the best I can do, and come out victorious, you know, at the end of the day. And uh, I'm just happy, you know, be back in the spotlight and fight again. I still got the fire in me. I'm still young. I got that. I'm still young, got a lot of gas in my tank. I'm not going nowhere yet. So, uh, I like I said once again, they came well prepared. We came well prepared. So, Saturday night, everybody's gonna see a great show. If he's gonna try to box, we're ready for that. If he's gonna try to brawl, we're ready for that. Uh, so, we're ready for anything he's gonna bring to the table. So, we're ready, and I just want to say, thank you guys, and uh, expect a great show. Brandon is, uh, and Robert are accompanied here by Brandon's longtime manager, Cameron Duncan. Cameron? Tim Bradley was well into his boxing career. He was a champion. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had had fighters that we promoted face Tim Bradley. And we were fortunate enough uh, that Todd uh, made a Todd DeBuff made a deal with Tim to sign De Tim to a promotional contract, and that has led to a series of tremendous fights: two against Pacquiao, the great fight with Provodnikov, the fight with Marquez really legendary, great, great fights uh, that will go into history as part of this era and a part of the great fights in this era. Now, he isn't a loudmouth. He's intelligent. He talks well. And he comports himself with tremendous dignity both inside and outside the ring. He's a true champion, the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Tim Bradley. First of all, I want to give an honor and praise to God for allowing me to be here today. I uh, also want to thank um, Team Bradley, Teddy Atlas, coming aboard. I um, also want to thank my management team. I want to thank my wife dearly for uh, everything she does, all the phone calls she takes all the drama she takes in the media, for everything, for loving my kids and my family and myself. I um, also want to thank the greatest promoter of all times, Bob Barham, top rank, bringing me back <laughs> once again. 
and building that Bradley brand. I want to thank HBO, the best boxing network on the planet, once again. Um, I want to thank the Wynn, the best hotel <laughs> in Vegas, to me personally. Love the Wynn, love the Wynn, love the Wynn. <laughs> yeah, the Wynn is what's up. <laughs> I also want to thank Thomas and Max Center, and uh, last but not least, I want to thank Brandon Rios for this opportunity and his team. Um, man, I had a whole, whole list of things I wanted to say today. I don't know if I should say them, but um, I'm more than ready for this fight this past this weekend, Saturday. Um, prepared very well, mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm well in tune. I'm just focused for this this event. Everything that's said here today doesn't mean anything. Everything that's, you know, around me right now means something, of course, part of the show, but doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is Saturday night, what goes on and what happens in that ring Saturday night. That's the only thing that matters. And I know now that I have control of that. I have control of me. Teddy has taught me that. If I have control of myself and I do what we train to do, I should come out victorious. Brandon is a tough, tough opponent. Yeah, very tough. He's gritty. I know it. And we're going to continue on to fight the best fighters that's available and that's willing to fight. So I give it up to Brandon. And um, I want to say a few more things. I just want to just <laughs> touch on a few more things. I, I honestly want to tell you guys how dumb but smart I really am. And I have a great team of people around me. And I feel that sometimes, and I'm not saying you guys, but sometimes people don't really understand what I have around me and what goes around me. But uh, I want to make it live a little bit to some of you folks out there or you non-believers in Tim Bradley that I'm very intelligent and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, I'm going to go down and I'm going to say <clears throat> I signed with the best promoter in the boxing business, top rank, inking up with one of the best managers in the business, Cameron Duncan. Okay. Then I tell my wife, learn everything you can from Cameron Duncan. Learn everything. Everything you can. Everything. Because guess what? Someday you're going to be my manager. You're going to be managing me. And we're going to save 10% of my purse. 10% of my purse, like I said, we're going to save, which we're doing, which we're, hey, we're, we're still not, we're still not intelligent. We're still dumb. And then <laughs> I own everything I have, everything. I don't, I don't own the bank, anything. I own everything, everything. You guys understand that? I'm not dumb. I'm a super smart, smart guy. I really am. Really smart. And so is my team. I own everything. I don't know how many houses I got, but I got a lot of them. And I own them all. All of them. Even the one I'm living in right now. I own them. I own all my cars. My kids are, guess what, in the best schools in my area. In the best schools, getting the best education. Guess what? I also have my kids' college already taken care of. When they're when they ready to go to college, the money's already there for them, okay? Already there. I am set up for success. Set up for success, okay? So when you bash me in the media and you say, wow, he got rid of his trainer for 10 years. Oh, he's dumb. He got rid of his manager. Oh, he's dumb. There's, there's, <laughs> Listen, guys, 
Everything has a plan. Everything has a purpose. And guess what? I'm living it right now. I'm extremely happy with what I've done in my career and the fact that I have control over everything that goes on around me. And uh, just to let you guys know, um, Saturday night, get off on another tangible Saturday night, it's all that matters, Saturday night. It's all that matters. Everything that I said and talked about just now doesn't mean anything, all right? But I just wanted to give you all some information that I am a smart fighter, and I'm a smart person, and uh, very intelligent. With my wife, all right, we're a team, okay? That's what me and my wife are, we're a team. And uh, as long as uh, me and my wife is together and we standing strong, can't nobody break this team apart. Nobody. That's my time. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Yeah, champ. What? Go ahead. No, 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 no. I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Tim's uh, assistant trainer, his father, Ray Bradley. Right? The weigh-in will take place Friday uh, at the Win Margot uh, 2, Win Margot number 2 ballroom. Uh, the main event will be on the scale at 3 p.m. sharp. The big fight show will take place at the Thomas and Mac. Uh, get your tickets uh, now. They're 400. 225, 150, 150, uh, and uh, the gates open at what time? Lee, what time? Four. At 4 o'clock. First fight? What? What are you going to do for two hours? <laughs> well, if you want to come at 4 o'clock and soak in the atmosphere, that's okay. But you ain't going to see any action until 6 o'clock, right? You sure? 6 o'clock? No, it can't be 6 o'clock. What? First fight is at 3.30. Okay. So you can come at 3 o'clock, get your seat, get a couple of beers, and start watching some great fights at 3.30. Uh, it's really a good card, great international card. I want to thank you all for coming. And don't worry, we're not cheating any of you. You see, there's no food here, right? So you cheap guys are saving money. No. Go to the press room. We got food for all of you at the press room. And come back here tonight and use my name. And instead of paying 10000 for a table, you can get one for 5000 <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank, thank these beautiful ladies, the, the top-ranked knockouts, the Takati girls. I'm an old guy. I'm not supposed to appreciate things like that. But believe me, pretty ladies, I always appreciate. Hey, right, Fred? Never old. Never old, right. Never old. Good. Thank you. You get it, man.
Go up to the Higgies, just kind of watch that blue uh, XLR frame. Don't, don't make sure it doesn't walk away. <laughs> this one with the tape, just make sure no one takes it. That one's fine.